Hello there and welcome. In this video, we'll show you how to work with Help Desk 2019. So let's start. First, let's look at the regular ticketing process with Help Desk to put everything into context. The customer writes an email, which is processed by the Help Desk from the support mailbox. A ticket is created. The ticket has prescribed SLA based on definition of the Help Desk project and is shown in the pool of unanswered tickets sorted by SLA time. Red negative numbers indicate that ticket SLA has been breached. Now a ticket assignment takes place. Just drag a ticket to the correct area and it gets assigned to a specific agent or operator. It can be done by a dispatcher or you may have your agents taking tickets themselves. Ticket assignment has two levels. Assignee, a user who currently needs to perform some action on the ticket, and ticket owner, a user who is in charge of successful delivery of the solution for the customer should be watching the ticket, even if it is assigned to someone else at the moment. Sending a message to the customer from a ticket is possible in two ways. Write a comment. Tick this checkbox. Go to Preview. Check your message and attachments. Confirm. Or write a comment. Choose an email template and save update. This will skip the preview step and directly send to the email. Email templates are fully customizable with HTML formatting that allow a branded and professional look of your emails towards customers. After each email to the customer, an SLA event is automatically created. It shows you how the agent fulfilled SLA of the ticket. On the first email sent from this ticket, you will also see the value of first response time. When the ticket is in passive status, i.e. waiting for a reply from a customer, SLA measuring is paused. If the customer replies back, ticket status is changed and SLA measuring is running again. All emails processed by the help desk are also attached to their respective tickets for future reference. If the ticket is idle long enough, it is automatically closed and an automatic follow-up is sent to the customer. It may contain a summary of the ticket or a satisfaction survey. This was the micro level of help desk process. Now let's enlarge the scale and introduce the big picture. The first type of reports are related to amounts, received and closed tickets in time, accepted and closed tickets per owner, most active customers, most profitable projects, etc. More importantly, you have SLA reports, which are based on the aforementioned SLA events, where you evaluate SLA satisfaction rate, average first response time, or average number of replies per ticket. All reports are available in the form of charts, trends, regular or contingency tables. Try yourself in a risk-free trial, no credit card, no installation, no obligation. Thank you for watching and good luck with your projects.